In this video, I will be talking about Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits, also known as SSDI. One of the most advantageous aspects of these benefits is that they are paid out at a rate that is equal to 100% of your Social Security retirement benefit. But hold on, what exactly does that imply? This is a very interesting question, and that is precisely the subject of this movie. Let's get down to business and go over the specifics one by one. So, I would like to make a very brief clarification. For the purpose of this video, I will solely be discussing Social Security Disability Benefits, which are also referred to as SSDI. There are around 9 million people who are eligible to receive these benefits on a monthly basis, and they are distributed over the entire country. I would want to reiterate that I would like to make this very clear so that we do not get this confused with Supplemental Security Income, SSI, which is another very significant program that is currently in existence and has approximately 8 million participants. However, the characteristics of SSI are completely different from the parameters of Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. Once more, I just wanted to make sure it was clear as fast as possible. First things first, let's talk about Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, because one of the nice things about this program is that the payments are actually paid out at the same rate as your retirement benefit itself. As for the thing, here it is. It's possible that you're curious, but hold on, I don't understand that. What do you mean when you say that? As for the thing, here it is. Permit me to elaborate on this because once more, this is a really cool aspect of the Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI benefits, which may not truly accomplish this for other benefits. Again, one of the considerations is that if you are a recipient of Social Security retirement, you might not even be receiving your benefits at the full retirement age benefit. This is because your benefits might be cut if you claim them a little bit earlier than the full retirement age. But when it comes to Social Security Disability Insurance, that is not the case. All right, let me now explain the current problem. Now, obviously. Let me begin by stating that, obviously, we do not want anyone to ever experience an injury or a handicap or something similar to the point that they are required to rely on Social Security Handicap Insurance, SSDI benefits. Unfortunately, this is the situation for around 9 million people who are currently receiving these benefits. They are currently in the process of obtaining them. Therefore, as a consequence of this, that is the reason why they have Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI benefits in the event that anyone has a disability or whatever happens that causes you to no longer be able to work at the capacity that you formerly did, now they have SSDI. Benefits to assist with income for these reasons. Understand? To summarize, I just want to state that in a very brief manner, but this is what it boils down to. You may not be aware of this, but your Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI benefits, are distributed in the same manner as if you were getting your Social Security Retirement Benefit at the age of full retirement. Okay, it's true. Is that okay? This is how the Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, benefits work. To put it another way, this is the reason why these advantages are so awesome in a certain sense, right? This is due to the fact that you are not liable to basically having your benefits garnished because you are claiming them early. Instead, your benefits are paid out as if you were when you were at your full retirement age and collecting retirement benefits and getting those benefits at 100%. In such case, allow me to present you with a brief scenario. Let's pretend for the sake of argument that you are, I was not sure, 40 years old. Okay, I'm giving you a number that I've made up here. For example, it might be the age of 25. It could be the age of 30. It could be the age of 61. It could be the age of 52 or any other age. I'm simply going to make up a number here. Is that okay with you? Let's pretend for the sake of argument 
that you are 40 years old. For example, you have been working for a period of time that is approximately 18 years. Just for the sake of argument, let's pretend that you entered the employment when you were 22 years old, that you have been working continuously from the age of 22 until you are 40 years old and that you have a total of 18 years of work experience under your belt. Now, obviously, I am aware that this is not the situation for each and every person. At this point, I'm just making this scenario up. Is that okay? But let's pretend for the sake of argument that you suddenly encounter an impairment that renders you unable of performing the same level of labor that you were previously capable of, all right? On the other hand, in the majority of cases, a lot of people think, oh no, this is a terrible circumstance here. What are my plans with regard to my finances? You are able to begin collecting social security disability insurance payments under certain circumstances, right? This is the reason why they have these benefits. Since I am not aware of the circumstances surrounding each individual, I am unable to provide advice or state something along the lines of, oh yeah, for sure, you are going to be eligible. I have no idea about that. Once more, I'm simply completely making this example up. Is that okay? In any case, it is possible that you are relying on social security disability insurance benefits in this circumstance. Let's imagine, for the sake of argument, that there is a person who is 67 years old and is about to reach their full retirement age. Is that okay? Alternatively, this same individual to whom I would like to extend this illustration Let's simply pretend that we go ahead in time. What is it? 27 years before they reach the age of full retirement. If they were a beneficiary of Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and they were 40 years old, they would receive the same amount of benefits as if they were 67 years old and receiving their full retirement age payment. Is that something that makes some sense or is it something that is a little bit confusing? Whether you are receiving your full retirement age benefit for Social Security Retirement Benefits or you are receiving SSDI benefits, the benefits are all paid out at 100% of your full retirement age. This is the nice thing about these benefits and there is no reduction to claiming benefits early. I would probably explain that in a way that is a little bit confusing, but my point is that regardless of whether you are receiving these benefits, there is no reduction and there is no reduction. Now let me tell you something. Imagine for a moment that you have reached the age of 62 or 63 or any other age similar to that 